Hey fam, welcome back to my channel. Today we're wearing orange in celebration of nothing. I just felt like wearing orange today. Today's look is inspired by the amazing, incredible James Charles and in celebration of his new collaboration with Morphe for the Unleash Your Inner Artist campaign. Now the look that I'm doing or recreating as my own is the actual promo slash on the actual packaging image. Everything that James tends to do, I fall in love with and I see it as like this big canvas of art. It's like beauty makeup, but it's not special effects. It's like its own aura of something. Like it's, that's the most beautiful thing about art and artists in general, that they're so different. And when you have something special, people will tell. So for this look, I wanted to do something different. Instead of unleashing my inner artist, what I'm gonna do is actually stay true to myself and unleash my inner demons. Because I feel like naturally for me, I'm like evil. I also wanna quickly mention that this video is sponsored by Mehran Makeup, and I'm so thankful that they asked me to be a video creator for them. So you're gonna see a lot of new videos that are sponsored solely by Mehran Makeup. And they're gonna be on their own YouTube channel. They're gonna be on their social media. So like, look out for me, y'all. You're gonna see me like on the big screen. Not really a big screen, but like, you're gonna see me on Mehran's page. I mean, unless they fire me. So <laughs> like, I'm sorry if like this look is not to the caliber of whatever. Um, I'm just thankful that they gave me a chance to work with them. And I'm really excited to get this video started because I wanna show you what I did. Welcome to another look. Today we're doing some posing. Yeah, feeling herself, just like loving everything about my eyebrows. You're welcome. I'm starting out with the Meron Skin Prep Pro. This is basically a toner for your skin. So what this toner is going to do is it's gonna prep your skin. It's gonna keep it like performance ready throughout your performance or whatever you're doing. It's meant to kind of like counteract the sweat, the oils, and just keep your makeup looking fresh and like brand new. Please keep in mind that there is alcohol in this toner. So if you have really dehydrated skin, you know, maybe stay away from it. I needed to map out my face with some sort of pencil. So I'm using kind of like a off white pencil. It's almost like very close to my highlight shade. And I'm just using that as a general guideline of where he placed the artistic white and of course the rest of the body is white the reason why i'm not going in with a white pencil is because i just it's easier to blend out and just like forget about again just a general guideline of where i need to place the white and where i don't need to place the white i need to talk about this palette for a second because this palette has been on my list of things to get forever since I started makeup and I saw this beauty it's the 30 color paradise AQ body paint beauty I just I'm only using the white in this case but uh, it's the only color I used in the entire palette this palette is an essential if you are doing body painting it's got everything you need all the colors and you can mix colors too it's literally like my baby. It's my favorite palette right now. So I'm going in with that white body paint and I am just filling in the areas that I marked out as white. For me, because I'm bald, I can go all the way, okay? And it's a blessing and a curse at the same time. So I have to fill more space, but it's all right. I'm putting that everywhere and I am just basically placing it before I go in at the end with the brush strokes. For my foundation, I'm taking a mixture between the Mehron Cream Stick Foundation and the Celebrate Pro HD Cream Foundation in white. And I'm taking the black bluish tone from the Bruise Wheel. And that's gonna give me this, it's kind of like a greenish cement color. It's green. It's like the color of like decay. And that's kind of what I wanted to go for, you know? And I'm setting that completely with the Celebrate Pro HD Mineral Finishing Powder in Translucent. I'm placing the powder down first instead of going in with a brush because I don't want to disturb the foundation underneath. Sometimes it tends to streak and pick up if you're using just a brush right away. But I do go in with a brush later just to brush the excess powder off of my face. 
For the eye look, I'm starting out with a gray tone blue eyeshadow. It's very cool tone and that's kind of like, you can go with a gray or a black in general, but I like to build up my colors. The eye shape that I'm going for is like, it's hard to explain. It's like, it has to look beautiful, but it also has to be like borderline messy and like still look like a demon mummy creature. The eye shape I'm going for is kind of beautiful, but in a way kind of smudging and decaying at the same time. I went, I honestly can't even explain it, but I went in with a more defined brow and then I went in with a more like pulled up eye look. For the contour of the nose, I did go into the nostrils to make a more demonic pointed nose, kind of like the nun, you know? You know, like her nose is kind of like pointed. So I don't know if you can tell, but it's like in a way beautiful, but like, decaying and still like demonic so it's that limbo in between like beauty and like special effects it's still kind of beautiful like i think this looks beautiful and i'm finishing off the shading with a black shadow so i only use two shadows but the black shadow is going to be deepening certain areas around my face eyes nose just to give it more depth i find that using multiple shadows kind of gives you that gradient effect and it really helps with blending so the more shadows the better as long as they're still in the same family of like shades you know so like i use the blue tone gray and now i'm using a black just to deepen the areas that i see fit to be deeper and crevices of course if you take like a fluffy blending brush that's just going to kind of diffuse everything all together and just blend it into like a seamless flawless ghoulish creature i also took that black uh into uh, my eye bags granted it was very easy to find them because they were protruding and you know i didn't have to do much shading because they were there For the cheekbones i went with a gaga inspired born this way sharp cheekbone i'm not sure if the placement's correct but i did place it where my actual cheekbone would lie you can pull it forward you can pull it lower it all depends what you're going for but because I had the white here, I put it in the proper place, I believe. Same thing as the eyes, I went in with the gray tone and then I'm gonna go in with the black just to define it even more. So just like when you contour something, you're gonna need a highlight and it really takes the look from two dimensional to three dimensional. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a now off off white shade pencil and you can use just an eyeshadow as well. And I'm placing that where I see fits as a highlight, like the brow here to make me look like I'm super mad, the cheekbones, the nose. Hell, I put it everywhere to be honest because when it comes to highlighting, I just, I can't control myself. Now I'm taking a shimmery gold tone shadow. I feel like gold tones would work better with this look. I'm trying to rationalize the fact that uh, my skin tone is like cement green but the shadow also helps blend everything out and it gives you that highlight for your life and that's what I love and I adore. So now I'm finally going in with the brush strokes using that white paradise paint and I'm using a brush that kind of has tapered hairs on the end so that I get that effect that James did with that small tiny fan brush he used. I think doing this, I read too much into it and I was trying to emulate exactly what James did on his face when really you don't have to do that. The point comes across when you put those brush strokes on. So really you don't have to spend too much time or as much time as I did, but, but I wanted to make James proud, okay? So as always, I have to take this look to the next level by adding in some Scalera lenses. These are by PinkyParadise.com and these are considered the zombie Scalera lenses. I think that it really takes this look to the next level. It's absolutely creepy and I absolutely love it at the same time. The couple people that I sent this look to, they were like, how did you get the eyes like that? I was like, girl, those are contacts. I was shooketh myself when I put them on. Your vision's gonna be 10%. I put them on at the very end because I needed to know that I did the entire look perfectly. I just wanted to point that out. That's not anything negative. I think it's, I think, like look at them. I, I'm still surprised. They're, 
they're amazing. I really hope that this was informative enough for you to follow. Either way, James has a tutorial on his actual look for the promo and the packaging. So if you want to check that out, there's a link in the description. Not that he needs help with like subscribers or views or anything. It's more like, like an artist kind of referring another artist in a way. That's just in case you didn't know who he was and you came across this video before you found him. So if you found him now, you're welcome. So yeah, that was my recreation of the James Charles Unleash Your Inner Artist collaboration with Morphe Brushes. Congratulations again, James, and I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it too, you know, that's important. I also want to say special thanks to Mehron Makeup for sponsoring this video today. I am so beyond thankful. I've already mentioned that a couple times, but I just want to say it again. Thank you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Follow me on all of my social media. They are listed in the description with James's video, with Mehron Makeup and the products that I used in this video. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. <gasps> Cheers!